Hey everybody, Sam here. And Angela, and we're Green Acre Homestead. Today we're going to take you on a journey. A journey that actually happened about six weeks ago. Wow. And that is... We added a gate to our property. And we moved the mailbox. So why are we adding a gate to our property? Security. Privacy. And because it was already down there, and we figured, why not? Keep things in and out. Right. <laughs> yes, our two feral children are beginning to roam. So, keep them in, plus the chickens. Keep dogs out that dogs roam out. on the road. Yep. And people. So all the technical bits and everything, and our thoughts after six weeks of having the gate and everything, is at the end of the video. But for right now, let's get started with the project. So that means... Let's go! Where we're going, there is, well, I won't say no water, because there's a creek down there. There's not easily accessible water. So, I've got this storage tote that apparently grows wild out here where we live, because they just pop up in the most random places in the yard. I'm going to go ahead and fill it up with water, and I'm going to carry water down there with us. Hopefully not spilling it all over myself as I ride the four-wheeler, too. I'm going to end up getting wet. I made it without getting wet. I'm gonna put a little bit of concrete in the bottom of this post hole. Not much, like maybe just that much, just so this isn't sitting directly on the ground. Then I'll put the post back in, plumb it up, and backfill it with the concrete. Daddy, will you use your shovel? Yes. There we go. We have got both of our posts set in the concrete 
it's pretty well plumbed up. Again, it's kind of hard to do when you're when putting you're... trees in the ground and they move. And... <laughs> They're yeah. shaped like this. <laughs> yeah, hey, it gives it that, um, what's the term? Oh, a very bespoke look. Or, um, what's another one they use? Like shabby chic? <laughs> I don't know. These cool terms to come up with ain't perfect, but it's good enough. Good enough for state work. Or what's the other one they told us in our comments? Good enough. Oh, good enough for government work. Yeah. See, we read your comments. <laughs> so I did try my best to kind of mound or slope the concrete away from the post so that any water that gets on it isn't funneled towards the post but away. I'm no concreteologist, so hey, it's good enough. You know, good enough. Good Try not enough. to say it again. It's good enough for state work. But that should keep the water funneled away good enough for the rain. Here, I say good enough again. Not allowed to say it anymore. I'm going to pinch you if you do. Pinch. How do you spell pinch. that? P E N C H T Z. Pinched. Pinched. So we had a little bit of concrete left over, which is better than the opposite problem, I guess. So we filled it in next to the road where our mailbox is currently because our mailman loves to do like burnouts and like go on NASCAR after putting the mail in the mailbox. The brief yeah. few times <laughs> he actually nice delivers rut. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a rut. So um, we filled that in with concrete and it'll be good enough. I guess now I have to start digging out other parts of the road as he spins out. What? You said good enough again. Gosh, I was <laughs> seriously like, what did I do? I didn't, I didn't say no wordy dirds. Oh. Okay, that's going to be it for this evening. We're going to let these posts sit and cure in the concrete for probably two days. So, uh, yeah. Well, See the... you in two days. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>we so back out here today and we're going to drill a hole in the earth again with the auger. That sounds kind of weird. We're going to drill a hole for the mailbox. We're going to move it to this side because it's going to work best with the gate, how it's going to open everything. So uh, that and we got a bigger mailbox because our mailmen apparently, we don't know, they don't ever leave us any packages. So we're trying to make as few excuses as possible for them. Let's go. Let's fire up the earthquake auger. She's cold. We'll see how many times it takes to start. I measured the height from the ground to the bottom of the window of our vehicles and it's right at 48 inches. So I'm gonna make this, it's marked at 46. We're gonna add a board on top. So it's gonna bring it around 49 and a half. And I think that'll work out good because this does slope down from the road. Pretty much what I'm getting at is our old build box was too short. We pull up, we have to reach down. So we want this new one to be right. Are you getting fancy, honey? Oh, don't you know me? I have fancy pants. Fancy feet. <laughs> oh, I got my glasses too. What? God. <laughs> Ready? Okay. I can very see a boy. That's why you got kids. Yeah, they're super helpful when you throw your stuff in the creek. All right, ready? <laughs> Don't 
don't look behind you, but there's a box monster. No! The creek grass. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to attach this through the bottom of the mailbox because it's too wide for the four by four. Those won't really reach, so we get some different screws real quick. That is a large mailbox. Maybe we'll get our packages now. All right, pick it straight up. Keep on going. Oh, hold on. Let me pick up really low. Okay. A little bit more. More. What? All right, put it down. Careful, careful. Let's trade. Come here, let me show you what I want you to do. I'm going to pick it up. And it's going to bring this closer. Okay. You hold this up until it goes and it slides down over there. Like, like that? Yeah, you're going to hold it here. Don't put your fingers here, I don't want them pinched. All right, you're not gonna have to hurry. Take your time. Okay. And just make sure it slides over top of that one and then the other one. Uh, so, back. Um, about it? Uh, it, it's on it, but. Okay, um, what about the bottom? Does it look like it's on the bottom one? It, it's completely on the bottom one. Okay. All right, that's good. Hang on. Look at that. Good job. Okay, yeah, we'll just tap it with the hammer. Yeah, it's barely on there. We'll tap it with the hammer. Don't get your fingers there. No, no. It could really hurt you. <laughs> Sorry. It's loud, huh? So I kind of messed up. You're supposed to put the top bolt hinge facing down so that nobody can just pick your gate up. I'm just going to leave it like it is because if somebody's out here trying to pick the gate up, we'll, we'll see it or we'll just deal with it. I don't want to have to take it off and redo all that work. 
All right. You can let go. Good. So it stays put. Kind of want to relax. It should, if it's good and plumb, when we let go, it should pretty much stay where it's at. Looks pretty good. Now we need to take off. Oh, these over. One of these at the bottom over here is welded on. That's okay. We don't need that. That's okay. I'm just looking. This looks really good how it's not trying to swing open or closed. It means that it's level. All right. Oh, don't get on this ever. This is it for hanging on. Yeah. Cool. All right. I'm going to go ahead and tighten these down then. To counteract any kind of pulling of this post when the gate is open, I'm going to use some two by sixes and attach this post to this one. This is the old original, I bet this is probably a locust post. Very old, still pretty solid. It's got a little bit of wiggle, but it'll help stiffen everything up. This gate won't stay open all the time, but in the event it does, this gives a little insurance, plus this stops people from riding four-wheelers or waltzing Matilda through here and bypassing the gate, which is good too. Can you go over it? Look at you. You think I can do it? Um, maybe. Maybe? Yep. Ah. Woo! <laughs> I don't know if I can do that twice. I don't want to risk it. We picked up a used gate opener from Facebook Marketplace, so kind of like Craigslist. Hopefully everything's here. We've had the kit for a while. It's been sitting in our well house, so the box is disintegrated. Got a little ant's nest in it, but we drug all the pieces out, threw them back here in the back of the car, and I'm going to go through the instructions now, figure it out, and hopefully everything's there to get this thing installed too.
So tell us about the gate you got. All right. Well, I actually didn't get the gate. <laughs> <laughs> it was already here when we moved to the property, which is really nice because those things aren't cheap. No. I mean, they're not outrageous. I think, okay, currently like a 16 foot gate is about 80 bucks for the cheapest model. But the one that was here is a really old, heavy duty, heavy duty, galvanized, um, more of a livestock style or an old style gate. So that was nice that we had it. All right, so our gate opener that we have is a Mighty Mule brand, and it's the model 500. Um, there'll be a link to it down below if you want to get more technical details on it. Remember, we bought it used, so we didn't specifically pick this one or pick this brand. Um, we have had good experiences with it so far. I want to say we've had we had that one hiccup one day where we went down to the driveway and it just wouldn't open. The remote wouldn't work, so we had to power cycle, like flip it off and on, and that still didn't work. So then we just manually opened it, but then later in the day, it was okay. So I don't know if I don't it know. It just if, happened to be raining that day too. Yeah. So maybe it was moisture related, but I did seal around the box too. So I don't know. That was a weird one. Um, and then there was another day where we left. It was the same day. That was the same day. Mm -hmm. Okay, so on the same day, wow, chalk it up for a weird day. Um, we left and then we came back home hours later to our gate like we watched and I'm like was that just closing? So we kind of waited pulled in and watched and it closed and then it opened and it closed and opened so for hours Apparently it had been going open and closed the whole time we were gone that day so probably moisture related um, I'm surprised though because I did seal the box up more than whatever moisture related other than that, we've not had any problems with it. Um, it's really cool having the solar panel. So there's no drop cords running through the yard or electrical uh -huh. wires. Um, what else? We did um, put two batteries and the unit down there um, to hold the solar charge. That way, if it's really cloudy for several days or snow or whatever, it should still have enough juice to open and shut several times. Yeah, definitely. Um, there are lock kits you can get for it where people can't just pull the pins and get in your property We're not really concerned about getting that kind of stuff. I mean the same kind of Explanation of when I did the pins on the gate and they're all facing up Gates keep honest people honest if somebody wants in on the property that small things those small things are not going to stop them mm -hmm. All right, so I tell everybody how good or bad. It's been six weeks after doing the big mailbox How have our postal deliveries been? It's been so much better. They have actually stuffed the mailbox totally full several times. And it's a big mailbox, so that's pretty awesome. <laughs> it is. We still get the occasional, you know, attempt at deliveries, not deliverable. Usually that happens on Saturday, so it's not a big deal anyway. Um, but for the most part, yeah, it seems like they're playing it's fixed nice. It. <laughs> fixed it for the most part, yeah. The day that Elijah and I were down there working on the gate, the UPS guy stopped by. So I had a chance to ask him, you know, is there a problem with our gate? Do you have anything special you want as far as, you know, UPS deliveries? And he was really nice. He says, I'll just stick it wherever you want to. So no problems there. We'll probably put one of those parcel boxes down there just because they deliver it and it's bad weather. But otherwise, we're always home. So it's really not an issue for us. Mm -hmm. What do you think about those uh, fancy pants privacy no trespassing signs I found on Amazon. Hey, those are pretty awesome. They are. They're metal <laughs> and really fancy. They look much nicer. And I like the black gate too. Yes, that upgraded it a lot by repainting it. Yeah. And it also helps to hide the scrap wood that I put on the gate to, you know, you would make never up. know. Yeah, it's scrap wood for the bracket for the thing. So all oh, being black, it looks good. It looks quite elegant for our little single white on a hill. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I have to say, I love having a gate though. And it makes me feel important being able to push a button in my car and, <laughs> and it opened my gate for me. Um, we've never had anything like that. No, no. And while we didn't feel unsafe being out here without the gate, it's pretty cool how I don't know. You're like, what's that sound? I don't know. It's somebody else's driveway, car driving up driveway. It's not ours. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of cool, you know, knowing that if somebody's here, we got issues. Otherwise, I don't know. The gate's probably open to close it again on its own. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Well guys, thanks for watching. If you have a comment, please leave it below. We love to read them. And otherwise, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. See ya. Oh, hello! That was dumb. That was dumb. Well, you do it. What are all you doing in here? That was dumb, too. <laughs> I thought the camera was short. Isn't it short? You just put it down, that's why. Okay. Battery's got two bars on it, so. Talk. Hey, everyone. Sam here. And Angela.